So could you talk a little bit about the vision? What, um, you know, what did you see uh, this building could become when you first bought it? When I saw this building and this location, I was very excited. I feel this building have a, a lot upside. And it's a big corner, beautiful corner, and the center of the jewelry center. And I felt I can do a lot with this building and redo the whole thing like a new building and for jewelry, because I felt the area need some new building for the area. And I saw the demand and the kind of rent people pay. I felt uh, really the building doing very well. And I contact Kobe and, uh, and showing the building, he was also very excited. And together we came with the idea what we do, what kind of design we do for the building. That's true. how we came up with this sort of a design direction. Yair is a great client. It's very sophisticated, it's very cultured in this kind of a thought process. So it led us to create multiple levels. We brought back the original story of the building. We exposed the block and the concrete. And at the same time, we brought crystalline facades that then encased what we are promoting and selling, which is very special and unique, which is the jewelry. And the jewelry is a very unique product that most people want to see, they want to look at, and then that's what attracts them to come in and touch and feel and share it with their family, um, to share it with their loved ones, um, and share it to themselves. That's what it's about. And today, this kind of a building, it's basically a jewelry box within a jewelry box that holds the jewelry within it that is open to the public. So the public can come through here, they can walk through, they can circulate horizontally and vertically, and they can experience this space. They can have a cafecito, they can have a juice, they can have something to eat and experience the building and at the same time look up and say, wow, honey, look at that. Let's go over there. Oh, wait. There's our friend right over there. Let's go see how they're doing. And have that kind of an urban Main Street corner interaction. 
and more so now than ever before, this will be the only jersey that you can really experience. And having multiple tenants, having a variety of jewelry, of arts and crafts in that sort of a tradition as an architect, it's very exciting because it gives us a platform to provide the space for these individuals who then cut and shape and create the jewelry and the chains and the watches and the intricacy of the detail that we can design as architects. So, I wanted to ask you about your uh, collaboration uh, in finding inspiration. Um, yeah, you, can you talk a little bit about where you found inspiration for? I, yeah, I told Kobe what type of look I like. And he gave me an idea together. I had to put the design and everything and based on what he you know what I'm looking for. And then we work very well together, I can say that. I know you traveled around the world. I travel all over Europe also to get idea and everything. So I know more or less what I'm looking for. And he was the best person I felt like I was able to, to work with and come with idea to help me to achieve what I'm looking for. And uh, what type of tenants are you uh, inviting to, to visit? the building and hopefully make it a home. We're going to have people come from all over, a lot also from South America. And, and I think this is like center for people from South America and from all over. And the whole area is coming up, all new building all around. Yeah, what, 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 how has the area changed in the last 10 years? And Colby, maybe you can also add to that since you had been uh, an active participant in the changes. But if you can tell us initially, how has the area changed? Colby can tell you better. He's but a, since you, since you got longer than me around here. Yeah, so what happened is that <laughs> a year when he was looking to buy the property, the building was very much stand up. We call it now uh, Time Central which I think is the most proper name because it's really at the right time of this 20th, 20th century. Um, it, it's really at the right time of this century that we have. And what we have is we have an opportunity to really open up a new place. So this building was designed originally as walling off the streets with no visualization to the street or from the street inside. And so we opened it up. And by opening it up, like a jewelry box, the public from the outside can see in, and the people from the inside can see out. So then they can experience the food as they walk along. And that creates interaction with people and creates excitement because people are moving now to downtown Miami, the flagler, not only to work, but also to live to go to school, to have an education, to live and work in this community as it historically has done. And this is really now we are on the cutting edge of that. And this building provides the opportunity for the community to come in and for the community to walk around and experience the building. Where before, there was kind of a walled up box and now it has been a crystalline volume along the ground level. And that crystalline volume then is brought you onto the inside and lets you see the and experience this space. You don't find in the whole country something like that. Right. And all over the United States, you don't find jewelry center like that. And this kind of size and the atrium and everything. Because it's, it's a jewel and it's arts and it's crafts mm -hmm. and it's kind pieces. And it's a lot of things because here in Miami we're very international. We are European, we are Far Easterners, we are South Americans, we are from everywhere around the world. And when I mean we're South Americans, we are Spaniards and we are Portuguese. And we, you know, we come here in the summer months because it's winter months in South America. So the whole system and the experience of this building is going to be uh, the way it's designed 24-7, 365 days out of the year. 
And again, like you said, you do not have that opportunity. And I think Yair was lucky enough, or visionary enough, or somebody who really saw a diamond in the rough to be at this right time, in this location, because nothing has been done in this corner, in this center. And that one, now is really the changing in the rotation of the mood and the experience and the people are coming. And it is mostly youth, it is mostly uh, first generation Miamians, first generation Americans who are coming here. And this jewelry, arts and crafts destination, it's very personal for today in our culture in our music, in our entertainment, in our hip-hop. It's a multi-level of experience, of buying and spending time with the jewelry and the bags and the accessories that go along with it. So there is really a great opportunity here to make a unique destination. Kind of like we discussed before about Milan, right? You come to Milan, you have a great streets, but you always end up coming to the main street that is covered and protected and gives you a little bit of protection from the rain or from the sun and share it with other people. And that's what this big massing of the building has now become. An indoor outdoor crystalline box on the corner of North Miami Avenue and First Street. And between Flagler and between the historic courthouses that are around here, it's a very, very rich environment. Yeah, you talk to us about some of the benefits for the tenants to be in this building. Talk about parking, talk about safety, security. Yeah, we... Um, what's happened in this area many years ago, based on information, I, uh, people told me they used to have a parking problem to find a park in the area. Today, the bill have many a new building with parking. So parking is not an issue anymore in this area. Uh, so we're going to have valet parking also in this building. And uh, as far as security, we're going to have 24 hours security on this building. It's the same thing with the public transportation. Today, we don't really use the car like we used to. You Uber here, you have a train station that connects you all the way to Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach and Orlando. You have jitneys and trolleys in this location. So this is really the, the ground zero, the 50-yard line of 